Ugh. Wow, that looks so much better. Hi, welcome back to Hope Scope. Today I think I have the biggest haul we've ever done here on the channel. Wait, come here. Please come here. Let's go up. Good dog. Say hi to YouTube. If you're new here and you like leggings, well, you've come to the right place because Leo here and I are your number one source for all things fit fashion. Today I have a whole lot of what I like to call Instagram brands. The whole reason that these brands are such a big deal is because they were either created by or endorsed by Instagram influencers. And I spent a whole lot of money on it so you don't have to. We have Gymshark, Alphalete, Cleo Harper. Also, everything that I talk about is gonna be linked down below so you can shop it. We'll just jump right in. Um, I need this pile. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's one set. I got so many Twitter tags and so many DMs about this Gymshark outfit. They're different. So Amanda tweeted, am I the only person who thinks the new Gymshark designs color schemes are horrific? Like, what is this? <laughs> the colors? aren't centered why this comment these women are clearly well muscled but the colors and designs make them look lumpy how does the company even manage that there's something about this set it's just not flattering looks like bacon <laughs> So naturally I had to get it. Let's start with the leggings here. I got these bad boys in a medium. I went with the cobalt blue color. I'm gonna be honest, I was fully prepared to just rip apart this outfit, but there are some things that I like about it. There's a lot of design flaws, but there's actually some good things about it. Here's the main thing. I looked even more lumpy in this outfit than the girls in the ad did. I don't even think it's the asymmetric lines fault. Okay, a little bit the asymmetric lines fault. But mostly I think it's the waistband's fault. It's teeny tiny. That's as big as the waistband is. And it's very thick. The waistband is double layered, but the rest of the pant isn't. They do have a seamless waistband at the top, but on the bottom of the waistband, there's a pretty freaking thick seam that is just digging right in. Definitely have hip dips. And it's just accentuating that. But A plus for the fabric. I love this fabric. I think that it's the same fabric that the dreamy leggings are made out of, but it has that soft brushed feel to it. Also, I really do love the colors. I don't know about them together like this. All right, you know what it's time for? The ultimate-ish squat test. Someone left this comment. Is it just me or did everyone look straight to the right of the screen during the squat test? The very right of the screen was the hot pink underwear. So we're just gonna squat test everything today in that pair. Moving on to the sports bra. Hey, it's us. Just popping in, because we're editing this video, and I needed to announce to you that I accidentally deleted a lot of footage. Mostly all the footage of me trying on all the tops, but it's way too late for me to refilm it all. Also, I'm wearing this because I changed my hair color, but I want it to be a surprise for the next video. Wait. <laughs> Babe. You want to be my co-host because Leo ditched me? Wait. Hi, YouTube. Well, we have a live audience now, so if I'm awkward the rest of the video, that's why. <laughs> Back to this guy. This is the matching sports bra. I actually absolutely love this. It was $35, got it in a size small. They're calling it a light support sports bra, but I would say it's like a light medium support sports bra. It's so comfy. It's made from the exact same material as the leggings. So it has that kind of brushed feel to it. It's super stretchy, has some light padding in it. I actually love the padding in it. At least until I put it in the wash and the little pads go rogue. Gymshark has stepped up their bra game. I will give them that. All right, the next thing I got, they're kind of weird, but they looked so comfy. They're the relaxed joggers. I got the washed green. They also come in black and gray. They're $40, but my main problem with them is they are completely see-through. Like I don't even have to bend over, squat down, and they are completely see-through. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna have to um, say no to these ones. Okay, I feel bad. <laughs> it seems like I don't like anything from the brand. That's not true. I did recently get something from them that I love and a couple people requested a review on it, so here it is. It's the Ori sweater. I got it in this print, but it also comes in black and pink. Okay, can we talk about this color for a minute? That is not pink. Either I'm colorblind or that is not pink. That's the same color as the pink one that's purple. Is this purple or pink? It's purple. Okay, I'm not alone. It's made from 96% cotton, 4% elastane, so that elastane gives it some stretch and a little bit more of an athletic feel. Moving on to Alphalete. The main thing that I want to talk about are the new Revival sets. You may be familiar with the Revival leggings, but they have created an entire set made from that material and I am so excited because it is hands down my favorite seamless material. So all of this stuff is dropping today. I'm pretty sure right now as you're viewing it, it's live. This stuff's gonna sell 
lot fast, so hopefully you can get some of it. The Revival sets are coming in black, charcoal, yellow, Cayman blue, formula red, and I don't have either of the purple colors, but those are ultraviolet and new war, new, new war. I think I've done two or three other reviews on the Revival leggings. They keep changing though. <laughs> these are actually the R6 or the sixth version of this legging. The things that make these ones different, the fabric is denser, not heavier, not thicker, denser. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it helps it so that it's not as sheer. And this new formulated fabric holds its shape really, really well so it doesn't stretch out or shrink. The biggest complaint that I and a lot of people had with these leggings was the camel toe. That front seam wasn't very forgiving, but they actually elongated the front seam and I think they did something different to the crotch gusset because the camel toe is now non-existent. Also, the sizing of these is the truest that the sizing of these leggings has been. In the past, I've said to size up in these. I don't think you need to anymore. I think you can go with your regular size. But I'll show you me trying on a small and a medium because I'm kind of between sizes. All right, here's what the mediums look like on me. And this is what the small looks like. So obviously not like a massive difference. I like how the medium fits my butt and thighs. So if you're between sizes and you want something that fits a little bit tighter, there's more compression, just smooths everything out, then I'd go with the smaller size. Or if you want the extra stretch, the extra breathing room, you don't like your stuff to fit super tight, then I'd go with the bigger size. The price of the Revival leggings is actually going up. They are $58 instead of $54, just because I'm assuming that some of those upgrades upped the cost to make them. Still 110% worth it in my opinion if you don't have any of these leggings. Plus the colors in this collection are just bomb. Enjoy squat test in every single color of the Revival leggings. also have the Revival shorts. These are also completely reformulated like the leggings, so take everything I just said and crop it into a short. I actually prefer to get a medium in all of these shorts. Just any short in general. I like mediums. I love the inseam of these. Usually, I don't even know if I'd call these spandex shorts, but tight-fitting shorts like this are generally way too short and ride up way too much on me. These don't though. They are super high-waisted. They have the same logo on the back as the leggings do. The waistband is nice and thick, lots of tummy control and compression. Oh, doggy, you're back. Hi, I missed you. Also in the collection are the new vault bras. I keep calling them the revival bras, but that's not what they are. Made from the exact same material. I wear a small in these. They are $40. They have this beautiful open back, removable cup pads, and I really like that they have this long line bottom. I really don't have any complaints about the sports bra. It's pretty comfortable other than I'm not obsessed with the seam that runs along the inside of the arm. It's just very thick and I feel like it kind of digs and rubs. And last but absolutely not least are the seamless long sleeve tops. I have a lot of seamless long sleeve tops and these blow all of them out of the water. They're just so much plushier and stretchier than any other seamless top that I have. I wear a size small in these. One thing I would say is they are very compressing. I wouldn't even say it's a sizing issue. They're just really tight, especially through like this area. I don't know if it's because of this like ribbed material or what, but every time I take it off, I have like lines on my arm from it. And our final brand, Cleo Harper. I kinda tripped and fell and bought the entire artistry collection. <laughs> I actually reached out to them and told them that I got all this stuff and asked if they could pretty please give you guys a discount. They actually did it. This is a big deal, you guys. They don't do discount codes. So on all of this stuff for the next three days, ends Monday the 29th morning, you can get a discount on all of this stuff if you use code HOPESCOPE at checkout. All right, so one, if not the most popular item from just them in general, is this Coco bra. And in the artistry collection, they came out with this navy blue color. This is one of my favorite sports bras on the entire planet. The fabric is just so unique. It's just a nylon elastane mix, but it's really, really plushy and double layered. It honestly feels like a swimsuit and you actually can use it as a swimsuit too. Second favorite though is the Indie Bralette because it is made from the same fabric as the Coco, but it's just a different shape. It's so pretty. It's very like ballet-esque. It has these really pretty cutouts on the side and then this cute crisscross back. This bra for some reason seems to run a little bit bigger than the rest of them. So if you're between sizes, I would size down on this one, but everything else runs pretty true to size. Also can wear it as a swimsuit. 
Let's talk about these leggings because they just stole the show. Animal print has been a huge trend this season, but this, that's amazing. This print was actually hand drawn in watercolor by Louis Lux. Sorry if I butchered that. It's a compression style fabric. It kind of has like a slick feel to it, but it's pretty matte still. And these actually are squat proof. They have a high waist that's double lined and then they do have a seam at the very top but with this type of material you actually want the seam at the top because it keeps them from sliding down. They also have these leggings in the collection which are also beautiful with the logo. These guys, they're all the exact same legging just slightly different design. I wear a medium in all those. They have those leggings in the ink color and for some reason they're a totally different fabric. These ones are more cottony which I've never seen Cleo Harper do that so it's really cool. And then the Everly bralette. It's a close runner-up for favorite to the Coco bra because this one is so beautiful. It's in that same leopard watercolor. I think the back is my favorite part though. It has this mesh bow tie racer back. And then all their clothes have that cute little gold Cleo Harper logo on them. It's a solid medium support sports bra. There's three layers in this area and then also a cut pad. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the Nova tank just because it's the only shirt in the collection which is kind of weird. It just has this watercolor Cleo logo on the front and it's a really lightweight kind of see-through fabric. It's really nice because it goes with everything in the collection. So my camera's out of space but it was the very end of the video anyways. So I get to do the outro on this little iPhone guy. I can't fit us both in here Lee. Um thanks so much for watching. I hope this review is helpful. As always if there's any specific brands you'd love to see me review make sure to comment them down below and Leo and I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye YouTube. <laughs> Just kidding. Say bye YouTube.